Ciao a tutti, my name is Stefan and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna give you in a very quick video three important tips about masking that will help you to speed up immensely the workflow. And these are the exclusion, raster mask and output channel. But let's get straight into it. And here I am on the dark table interface. I selected this photo I made during one of my photo walks in Melbourne. And if you are around, just uh, contact me and you can see how to do it in the video description. Now, let's get into this photo. And for the tip number one, what I want to do is to color these tables uh, in blue, just to make a little bit of a statement into this photo uh, with only yellow tables. And I go for that in the color zones, I apply the module and what I do, I select this area to apply the color change. Now I could actually draw a mask exactly to this desk, but it's gonna take a while to do that and I don't want to waste my time. And honestly, the quickest way you can do it is with a drawn and parametric mask. So let's go straight into it and we activate the drawn and parametric mask. And what we do, we beat the path around this desk and you do left click to create this path. And when you want to close the path, you just do right click. And now it's all done. And I can change this from yellow maybe to, let's say blue, sort of blue. Let's do it a little bit darker maybe, just to match the other yellows. And I increase a tiny bit the saturation. And the job is all done. I'm not sure if you see in YouTube the difference, but the change has been applied obviously also to this area, which I don't want. And to show you that, I'm gonna highlight the mask here. And you see how the change is done actually all around the table. So if you want to avoid that, obviously you won't, <laughs> what you do, you're gonna use the input channel. But in order to do that, you know, with the input channel, what you're gonna do, you can decrease that and try to go around the yellow only. It doesn't work perfectly because there is a bit of a yellow into the brownish floor. Now, there is an easy way to fix that and it's really, really quick. Just activate the output channel here. It was always there before, I think at least three or three, four. And uh, now you have actually to activate into the hamburger menu. And once you have that, you can work in the output channel, but this time you can work on the blue color because the colors change. And then I go straight on easy peasy automatically only apply to the table the upper channel helps me a lot to speed up my process especially when i build my mask my parametric mask based on a color and now let's go to tip number two exclusion now we have the areas where we have applied the mask let's get rid of the area you will see that the tables and the benches are in blue color but now let's assume that we want actually to apply this change only to the table and one of the bench and we want to get rid of the change applied here so if you see the mask was done on um, this path 8 obviously you can change the path to the limit only what you want but let's do it in a much quicker way what we do we just take a brush and we go over the path that we don't actually want the change and when you do that you don't see any actually change you don't see any exclusion and the reason is that you have to go into the mask manager and when you go into the mask manager you have a two mask that uh, you create it for the job so the path 8 obviously and the new brush then you go into the group where these masks are applied in this case the group color zones and we go into the brush and what we do here we say difference and then boom it's all gone very very easy very very effective it's the best way to exclude the path of your mask without going too much into the drawing part of it so it's so easy which takes me now to tip number three. Let's assume we want to actually add a little bit more of a light to this person and we want to give more of a detail. So I'm gonna use two modules here. One is the exposure module and one is the local contrast. So I go into the exposure module here and I'm gonna bright up this photo, but obviously I'm gonna apply this change only to the man. So let me zoom in here. Uh, even more, even more. I use again a uh, drawn a uh, parametric mask in order to delimit the change only to this person. In this case, it's very, very easy because the person is very dark. Again, you could do that with a drawn mask, but it's gonna take a long time. 
let's do that instead with um, a path. I'm gonna build a path here. And uh, you see that the change is applied only to this path, but we don't want to apply obviously the change to the table. And uh, in order to avoid that, we go again into our input channel and uh, we take the, the input channel to apply only to the darkest part of uh, the photo. Let's see what we're doing here. And we add a little bit of feather radius and mask here. Okay, I think we have done our change and we can see before and after. Before and after. You see the change is applied only to the person, but not as much to the area around. Now let's assume we want to add some more uh, contrast, more details into this person. What we use is the local contrast module. Let's activate the module. And now we add just a tiny bit of details. We increase the highlights, we decrease the shadows. And that's fine, but you see that the change is applied to the whole photo and uh, we want to do that only to the person. But guess what? We have already a mask that we used before in the exposure but we don't use the one that uh, it's in the drone and parametric mask so if you go in the drone parametric mask you see that you can select here draw mask you go there and you say exposure and what it happens here it just takes the drone mask from uh, what we built before not the drawn and parametric mask. So the combined mask that we used before and we defined before in the area. If we want instead to get actually the drawn and parametric mask, we go into the raster mask. And then you go into the raster mask and you decide which one do you want. I say exposure and the change is applied only here before and after. With a raster mask, basically you get to use the mask that you define on another module as a drone and parametric mask. And this is it about this video. If you like this video, obviously put a like and please add a comment with any tip that you have on the mask. I'm really counting on that because we all grow together. And I see you in the next video.